sine x times tangent x is a product of functions. So to take its derivative, we'll need to use the product rule, which tells us the derivative of a function f of x times g of x is equal to f prime g plus g prime f. So if we can identify our f and our g here, the two functions getting multiplied together, we can apply the product rule. That should be no trouble in this example. f of x, the function on the left, is sine x, and g of x, the function on the right, is tangent of x. Which one is on the left and right doesn't actually matter because multiplication is commutative, but it's helpful to be consistent. Then the derivative of sine x tangent x, well, we begin with f prime, the derivative of sine. The derivative of sine is cosine x, and then multiply by g of x, which is just tangent of x. Then we need to add g prime, the derivative of g is the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared x, and just multiply that by f of x. Multiply that by sine x. As is often the case with trig functions, there's different ways we could write this. Uh, there is some obvious simplification we probably should do, though. Tangent is sine over cosine, so when we multiply that by cosine, the cosines cancel out, and we're actually just left with sine. So this guy on the left is just sine, and then on the right we have sine x times secant squared, and we might as well factor a sine out of this. Factoring out the sine, we get sine times 1 plus secant squared. This here looks like an identity, but it's not. This is a reasonable place to stop. The derivative of sine x tan x is sine x times 1 plus secant squared x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus 1 exercises and Calculus 1 course playlists in the description for more.